Hey there, friend. Thanks for popping in. I got a great scripture from for you today from Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 23. It says, he, it's speaking of God, it says, he brought us out from there. There is Egypt. He brought us out from there in order to bring us in to give us the land which he swore to our fathers. All right, listen, he brings us out in order to bring us in. Into what? Into the promised land that God has in store for us. Friend, your greatest destiny is still ahead of you, but you need to know God brings us out in order to bring us in. In, which means you can't always hold on to this branch and grab the next one. God says, no, you're going to let go of that, and then I'll release you into the new. And that leaves us in a place of uh, trust. We have to trust him. We've got to know that he's with us. He's for us, like Abraham. When God, Hebrews 11, 8, by faith Abraham, when called to go to a place that would later become his inheritance, he obeyed and went even though he didn't know where he was going. You have to obey and go, even though you don't even know where you're going. Sometimes it's not even just obedience. Sometimes God just takes things from us. Sometimes God strips us of where we're at right now so that he can take us into another place. I really sense that right now. I felt that this morning that some of you watching God is taking things from you and it's terrifying you, but you don't realize he's bringing you out of something in order to take you into something else. And if you trust him, he's going to bring you into a better place. He's going to be, bring you into a better place. You know, there's always the, I call it the went factor. You know, you know, we talk the scriptures, the kingdom verses where it says so-and-so, he went away and he sold everything he had. Look at uh, Matthew 13, 44, the kingdom of of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field. When a man found it, he hid it again, and then in his joy, he went away. Say, went away. All right? He went away. He sold everything he had. I'm going to say that again. He went away. He sold everything he had, and he bought the field. What's that? That's called the price of the kingdom. It costs you something. It costs you everything. And then there is a kind of a going away. There's a transitional period. You, you don't just see it, take it, own it. No, you see it. You get a sense for the kingdom. You get a hunger for it. But then you got to go away, pay a price, sell it all, say yes, and then you buy the field. The next verse, Matthew 13, 45, very similar. It says the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant searching for fine pearls. When he found one of great value, he went away, sold everything he had, and he bought it. Some of you have seen, you've got a sense of the kingdom, you've got a glimpse of it, but you're still in that going away stage where you're going away, you're selling all, you're paying the price, you're, you're, you're counting the cost and uh, quite frankly, the cost is high. And you said to the Lord, Lord, whatever it takes, give me the kingdom. And now suddenly you're finding that um, you've lost your job. <laughs> and you're going, wait a minute. Uh, that's not what I meant. You know, suddenly uh, he's stripping you of things that you didn't want to be stripped of. He's asking you to give up things that you didn't want to give up. And you're going, whoa, 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 whoa. And God's saying, well, I thought you said whatever the cost, give me the kingdom. Well, friend, it costs everything. And so you're finding yourself right, in, right now in a season where you're, you're having to let go and let God, well, let go and let God lead you. And trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. He'll direct your path. He, like, like he did with Abraham, like he did with all of his great, uh, all of his great leaders throughout history, he's going to do the same for you. You let go. You let him have what he wants. He's going to bring you into a brighter and a better place. And it doesn't matter that this whole world is going nuts right now. It doesn't matter that they're in terror and fear. It doesn't matter that they're screaming in the streets. There's riots in the streets. Literally, there are riots in the streets. The world is going nuts. 
and God still has a plan for your life. The world is going crazy and everyone's saying this is the end and God has no problem bringing you into a bright, bright future if you can let go and lean into the things that he has for you. So don't worry about it. Don't sweat it. Don't Whatever situation you're in, just remember... He's in it with you. Whatever storm you find yourself in, remember, stay in the boat with Jesus. Everything's going to be all right. I hope that was a blessing to you. Like it, share it, and take some time today to meditate on Deuteronomy 6.23. There's your 6.23 if you're watching this today on uh, June 23rd. God bless you. We'll see you soon.